Hello comrades and welcome back to another video. Here today we're going to be looking at the changelog for the Furnace Fist of Steel update. So this is actually quite an interesting update, seeing it has how quite a few things were added and changed. So uh, let me just... wait what the hell? Furnace Building Society? Furnace Build Changelog. Let me just talk a bit more while I get the change log up. So I was quite surprised actually when I logged into the game to see that like a number of my soldiers, a large number of them, actually got a what is it? Um, I was surprised when a lot of my soldiers actually got ranked up. I didn't know that they were fixing the grind this much, but it seems like They've changed the amount of XP needed for each rank, seeing as how to get to rank 9 you needed 22,000 before I think, same with rank 10, but they have reduced the amount so all XP that was kind of overflowing into the next rank, or would have been overflowing, just ranked you up more, so this tank man used to be rank 7, now he's rank 10. Spicy. You see this guy? He used to be rank 8, now he's almost rank 12, and this man, he is rank 12. Quite prestigious if I must say, and my recon that was about less than halfway is almost to rank 15 now. That's pretty spicy, yes? I saw it that time and I just started recording, so I'm sorry, sir. I will play with him in a bit. Right now, we must get to change log. So, that's amazing that Reader did that, thank you. But, while um, the ribbon XP has been changed, the amount you gain is supposedly twice as much now. The thing is, I saw for a few of my ribbons that. It actually, this update kind of reversed progress or something. Because I used to be about... Uh, I think it was halfway out. Not right now, dude. Uh, let's see. Um... I think I was about halfway to getting the ice too. I don't know. I might just be high, but you know. Whatever. This is still a good update, and thanks, Rito. You're you're pushing yourselves in the right direction. Just listen to the community more, and this will become quite the popular game. Uh. Let's see. First up on the chains log. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the uh, grinds change, by the way. Also, ooh, spicy. A bunch of my uh, ranks got changed for these guys. Wait, what the hell? Is that supposed to be like that? I think it is, actually. Yeah, I'm stupid, it is. <laughs> they look like the same rank for a second, but whatever. Uh... Oh yeah, by the way, we have, um... Lay Cheeky Breaky soundtrack accompanying us this today. So let's see. First up in the change log, we have... The weapons and vehicles. Obviously, the M10 tank destroyer. I've made videos on all these, by the way. I don't know why. Um, what is it? I've, they have added the M10 tank destroyer, and I'll show pictures of each one with it. Mm, let's see. I don't exactly have a tanker, so I'll show you 
picture through here. Or is it the bundles? Yeah, they added new bundles. I'll get to these in a bit. But right now, we have the M10 Wolverine. This bad boy. The M4A3E2 Shum Jumbo Sherman, as Rito like to say. Well, that's Beast. Loads of armor. The Soviet Su-76M Tank Destroyer, which can be seen right here. Oh wait, that's not it. Right here. I might get it. Maybe. Apparently it sucks, and the M10 dominates all, but meh. Whatever. By the way, I did make a video on the KV-85 that will be coming out tomorrow. I'm uh, rendering the video today, as we speak, I think. <laughs> Alright, next up we have the T-28 Model 1934 medium tank. I wouldn't call it a medium, but, you know, that's, that's a, that's a medium tank of sorts. It has an insane amount of gunner seats, as you can imagine. Two turrets. One for the back, and one for the hull. Still don't know exactly where the gun is, but someone informed me that that is a horn, in fact. So that is not the gun. <laughs> um, the Soviet KV-85 heavy tank, as shown here. What a beauty it is, I loved using it, and you'll see <laughs> how much I loved it um, tomorrow. <laughs> Alright. Lowered the cannon shot sound of the Panzerkampfwagen V Os G Panther. The bloody Panther. I hate the Panther so much. Not because it's bad, because What is that armor, dude? Anyways, let us move on. They've added new skin variations for the M1 M2 Carbine, the nineteen forty M nineteen forty one Johnson LMG. The STG-44, or the Sturmgewehr-44, if you want to be exact. I can't show the previous two, but I can show this one. Which is the Beechwood. Ew, dude. Ew, who would do that? And the Dark Walnut. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. I still think that this is one of the best though, but mm, whatever dude. To the Panzerkampfwagen 6 Tiger, or the Tiger 1, don't know why I said all that. Can't show that again because I'm a pleb and I don't have a lot of German tanks. So, it's, uh, it's for this tank. Yeah, the thing I don't have. And one for the Tiger 2 as well. Both of them are the Ambush DB and Light Olive uh, skins. The Ambush DB basically looks like a variation of... Let me see, I think it's on the Panzerkampfwagen of Van. Yeah, this. And imagine that on the Tigers. And then there are also... Filled in Chinese people. Alright. Yeah, imagine that on the Tigers. It's pretty good. And, uh, basically tan skins used in the Africa Core, I want to say. I'm not sure if I'm correct, but Africa Core, I believe. Alright, let's move on. They added three new bundles, as you saw me show earlier. We have the American Armor Combat Pack, the Soviet Steel Combat Pack, and the Aktum Panzer Combat Pack. Each one containing the tier 1 tanks for each type. So, this one contains the Jumbo, the M3 Lee, the, uh, that thing, I don't wanna talk about that. And the, uh, M10 Wolverine, which is actually better than the Hellcat. <laughs> it's PTRD 1941 immune, so, the Mutstronk Soviet anti-tank rifle that can pen the Tiger II Kappa. Cannot pen this thing. I don't like it already. I've heard bad things about it. As in, it wrecks stuff. 
For the Germans, it would be the Tiger one, the Panzer 3J, the Panzer Run, and the Hetzer. The Hetzer is actually pretty good. I think he, uh, one of my comrades told me he got a buff. And for the Soviets, it contains a KB-85, T-28, T-38, and SU-76M. Each one comes with two ribbon boosters, one for armor assaults and one for armor damage, I believe. Maybe they're the same thing. Maybe there are two different ribbons, and I said them wrong. One of them's armor damage, at least. And ribbon boosters for each of... Oh, wait, it's right here. Tank driver and armor damage ribbon boosters. And ribbon boosters for each of the vehicles. So that's pretty cool. You can get them for 4,900 gold or 475,000 credits. So, if you got some credits to waste and want a new tank, man, I guess you can get that. Or if you want a starter pack, which is pretty cool. Jumbo's actually pretty good. It bounces ice 2 shots sometimes, and the uh, KB-85. Oh, you'll see what happened tomorrow. <laughs> it was so amazing. I love it. Alright, moving on, we have... Warm up changes, they added over 600 new battlefields, more lines connecting France and Italy, uh, let me skim through it, general easing of choke points all around the map, various other stuff that you can read for yourself in the change log. I'll try to remember to put it in the description. Alright. Next up we have the Ribbon Badges and Unlocks. Character progression from rank 4 to 12 is now twice as fast. Uber fast, easy peasy. So now, you can unlock that sweet high explosive ammo. Twice as fast. Easy peasy. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, they changed the US Armor Assault Ribbon changes. Yep, they changed stuff, alright. They added the M10 to Armor Assault Ribbon Grade 6, the A1 Sherman, I'm just going to say the last few designations because you can tell by those, yeah. The A1 Sherman to Grade 7, the uh, Jumbo to Grade 9, and the Easy 8 to Grade 10. For the Soviets, they changed, I'll show you myself since I actually have a Soviet tanker. Armor Assault. Where is that? Here it is. Real quick. Really good. Easy peasy. Yeah, I was only one ribbon away before. That's odd. Uh, they changed um, or added the T28 to uh, ribbon 4, the SU-76M to grade 6, the T3476 to grade 7, the SU-85 to grade 9, or 8, rather. The uh, KV-85 to uh, ribbon grade 9, and the T-3485 to grade 10. Interesting. You can even counter the Mighty Tiger. You just can counter Tigers too, yes! Haha! <laughs> oh, dude, that's such a fun game. You'll see it tomorrow. Hehe <laughs> XD. Uh, adjusted the rank experience to make rank 6 easier to reach. Adjusted the rank experience from rank 6 to 12 by lowering the requirements and gradually increasing the requirement. Increasing the requirement. So, in smaller increments it increases XP, not by insane amounts. And because of this, like I said, it's easier to earn credits. And unlike what many people feared, they actually didn't like inflate the prices. A whole bunch. It's still pretty good. I gotta say. For the German armor, LA moved the ribbons. Let's see. Armor assault. Infantry assault. Flubby infantry. We got them armor. Alright. They moved the Hetzer to grade 6. That's odd. Okay. Move the Panzer IV H to grade 7. They move the Stoke III OSF G. I don't know what the OSF stands for, so I just say OSF. It's 
probably annoying to German speakers and people that generally know more than me. Hmm. They moved the Tiger 1 to r Ribbon 9. It was actually in fact at 10 I believe, but they switched those around and holy crap I didn't know the Panther was more expensive <laughs> than the bloody Tiger. The hell? Alright. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's some other changes and a hotfix, but that's pretty much it. Thanks, Corbin, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the cheeky br sound of cheeky breaky in your ears for about 15 minutes or so. Well, I went through these changes with you, and is anyone still watching? If so, say cheeky breaky in comment section. Thanks for cheeky breaking with me, as I bored you out of your minds. And see you in the next video. Thanks. Thank you a lot, Rito. You're actually taking steps in the right direction. Like I said before, keep it up. Keep keep referring to the community for new changes. They have quite a few ideas that I think everyone would like to see. What the hell? Oh. I was like, aren't Aren't the major ribbons supposed to be the same, but the pilot one is lighter? Alright, see why at sign.